Oh God, I don't know if I'm live or not. Am I? Oh yes, okay. <laughs> Wait. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Does this mean I'm on? Yeah, you're on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, are you in Atlanta? Yeah. I just yeah. got here um, last night and I'm like, it's so green because I haven't obviously cut my grass or done anything. <laughs> But it's cute. It matches your top. You look very nature. And it says woman on it. And I'm like, oh, Aww. aren't I just so prepared? You are. You look great. You look great. OK, Daisy has sent the request. Oh, do I? I don't know. I think you have to personally accept it. Oh, dear. Wait. Where's um, Daisy? No, we're, we're looking for her. I'm going to try this. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yay! <Where are> you? <laughs> Hi. This is Hello. always so scary. Hello. I know. Hello. Thanks for taking on quickly. I was like, oh, no, no. I got you. I couldn't, I couldn't find the thing that to send the request. I was panicking so much, but I did it. We found it. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> this is so nice. I, I know. know. <laughs> How's things? Good, yeah, good. How are you? Yeah, really good, really good. I've written like a little intro. Um, okay. So sh shall I shall I go ahead and do it? <laughs> intro us. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it all written down, so I'm like, uh, yeah, nothing could go wrong. Okay, so um, hello everyone, um, and welcome to the Women of the Sally Rooneyverse uh, Instagram conversation. Um, my name's Daisy, and um, I was so chuffed to be asked to host this Instagram conversation with the two stars of Conversations with Friends, uh, the lovely Alison Oliver and Sasha Lane. Um, hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks. I, um, you're welcome. I, I've, I've written, like, a load of questions. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I, I think maybe we, should, we could dive in. But, um, but I just wanted to first say just, like, I, I binged the series in one day um, and just like how utterly stunning your performances are in it and just how moved I was from start to finish um, by the show. So it's really cool. I like, feel so honoured to be able to ask you some things. Oh, thank you so yeah. much. <laughs> um, so I'm sure like you've probably been like had a bit of a mad week um, to say the least and I'm sure you've been asked some of these questions like thousands of times <laughs> um, but I've also written some like other ones that maybe you haven't so hopefully they're a bit interesting. Um, but the first question was um, were you familiar with the book prior to uh, auditioning and what was your audition process like? I, I know yeah, I was like, I know Ali. So I wasn't familiar with the book at first, but as soon as I got the email about auditioning, um, I asked to read it. And then I was literally watching normal people and reading the book at the same time before meeting with Lenny because I was oh like, I want to get this feel. I spent, I spent a day reading the book, but then would be watching normal. It was like, I was like in this kind of bubble of you guys basically. And so it, that's why it's so nice to talk to you and, and, and to be, you were basically the reason I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, if wow. acting looks so incredible, then I definitely want to be a part of that, that universe there. Um, and then finally got to do my little chemistry reads with Ali and both on zoom and in Ireland. Oh my gosh. So it was on zoom because of COVID. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was mad because it was like, uh, uh, like, it's amazing what you can actually get through Zoom, I think. Like, I always, I've said this to Sasha a couple of times, but like, just because I didn't know Sasha and, and when she logged on to the Zoom straight away, I just, my head was like, there's Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> like, yes. Right. Like, I just, it was so mad. And then, and then it just like further confirmed that when we met in, in Belfast and stuff. And it's funny how it, it's such an energy thing, I think. But, um yeah you can really get that through zoom it's it's so strange yeah and maybe even like more so because you're weirdly meeting each other in such an intimate yeah. way you're meeting each yeah. other in your own space it's like you're not in yeah i think i was in my yeah. daughter's bedroom and i was yeah. sitting on a box and like her cr 
crib was there and there was a hole in the wall and I was trying to hide it with my head. <laughs> you, you know, I think it like eliminates the nerves because you're like, you, there's diapers next to me, like the, the yeah. holes, but it's just, I, and also, like, I totally. And if it's going wrong, you can just suddenly like freeze and like, hope, like, <laughs> <laughs> I just be like, my, <laughs> like my internet the connection's <laughs> bad. I, I have to start over. <laughs> I'll do it later. Really yeah, 100%. Yeah. And what about you, Alison? Had you had you read the book or like how, what was your process? Of yeah, I had, I had read, I actually, I think I was, I read Normal People when, like just before you guys started shooting it. And then like a year later, it was like Conversations with Friends was my like first lockdown novel, which is so interesting. Like my, my wow. roommate gave it to me and I was going back to Cork to, to isolate. And she was like, um, oh, you have to read this book. Like you'll love it. And she knew I'd, I'd love normal people. And, um, and like similar to Sasha, like read it in a day, like sobbed. <laughs> I was yeah. just so moved by, yeah, her and the way she sees the world and, and the characters that she writes. And so it was interesting because I kind of had, I guess, a relationship to that book before I auditioned. And so I was kind of like, really saw these characters as real people and kind of imagined that they were out there in the world somewhere. So when I kind of came to audition, it was a really kind of odd experience because I was like, well, no, they all exist. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I when I when I read I feel like that's like the magic of Sally's writing is that you do that it, the, her world is so immersive that you kind of can't believe it is really happening like when I was reading it I felt like every time I put the book down the the life I was living was what I was reading and their life was the real one yeah, <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, sense. yeah, they're, yeah. They're, just, they're, their world feels realer than ours yes a hundred percent yeah because yeah. it's all in your head and you're mm. like at least with this oh, one yeah. yeah but I Absolutely. need to know I want to know your process too because yes. you guys weren't COVID right so yeah no I'm my, so curious yeah Paul, Paul was cast like months and months before me I think he was one of the first um like in round of voice that they saw for Connell and I think they knew immediately he was the, the the one and then um and then I I my friend actually auditioned for the book uh, for the series even in my in my flat and I remember overhearing it being like oh I want to audition for that but I, I haven't yeah. had like I didn't get the, the self tape through and then a month later um it did it did come through so I like did it and sent it off um and then I sort of immediately was flown to Ireland um I think I was down to like the final five and did a chemistry read with Paul um and then sort of had a torturous like four days of waiting to hear it and then obviously like lost my mind <laughs> when I got the part yeah, yeah. those yeah. days of that waiting process are just ugh. Oh, completely do you do you remember where you were when you found out you got it I was in LA I had just I'd flown from Ireland to LA to do like um an essential like photo shoot and I was just about to fly back home to Texas and I was sitting outside with my brother, just like, Ugh, I just, I wish I could, you know, I wish I knew. And then my agent called me and it was the best plane ride ever. I was on the phone just like. That's so nice. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, oh mom. Yeah, it was, it was great. It was great. Oh. Do you remember? Do you remember where you were? Um, I was going to call you Marianne, <laughs> Daisy. <laughs> do you remember where you were when you got the call? Oh my god, that's hilarious! <laughs> oh my, sorry, someone just rang me. So sorry if I like temporarily froze. I promise, I, that that actually was the signal, not me. <laughs> um, I was, yeah, I, I, um, I like because I'd have, you know, I don't know if you've ever had that, but I had one of those like, like days before it where I had such a just really good feeling. And, mm. and that never, that has happened to me before. And then I well, often just don't get the part. So I was like, oh gosh, like I'm having this really good feeling, but I'm not going to get it. Mm -hmm. um, and then, um, and then sort of, I, I rang my um, friend who'd helped me with the audition. She was like, have you heard? And I was like, no, I think it's just not going to happen. And then literally mm -hmm. that call got interrupted by my agent ringing. And he was like, you yeah, God. I was like, oh. Oh, <laughs> I around my uh, room. Yeah. It was amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Yeah. It's always the way. It's always when you're yeah. like, I've lost it. And then, yeah. you know, well, not always the way. <laughs> you know, it's, it's often when you do actually get it, it's you've had that little dip just before or something. Um, Where were you, Alison? Do you remember? 
Yeah, I was, I, it was actually the day after I finished college and it was like, and I had quite a long waiting period before I found out, like I think I auditioned and maybe didn't hear back for like quite like maybe three weeks or something. Like it was quite a while. And so I had really in my head, I was like, I just, I didn't get it. And, and that's totally fine. And I was trying to, I was getting a, um, like a job just, you know, to like, just to work and, and figure out what I was going to do. And so I'd just done a job trial and I was like cycling home and I was like, because I'd gotten the job. <laughs> so I was cycling home and I was like, yeah, I have a restaurant job. And then, um, and then I had a missed call from my agent on my phone and I was like, oh my God, because I was like, why else did she ring me? And then I kind of came into my room and like sat in my bed and was like, Phew. and then, um, yeah. And then she told me, and I oh my god, <laughs> like it really is so, a magical. It's yeah. like such a magical thing when it ha like it's so special. Yeah. And, and so and so when you when you um read the book and then read all the scripts, was there something about like um them that struck you? Like was there was there um yeah in the way that they chose to adapt them? Was there anything in in the kind of like differences from the book or, or things like that that you found interesting when you when you then read them all? Um, I, I particularly just loved seeing, like, how all the other, like, how all the other characters were developed, because I think, like, I guess so much of, of the book is in Frances's head, and you're seeing how she sees the world, that actually when the skip, scripts came through, like, even though you're kind of following Frances, you're seeing, you know, what, what people are saying, and I found it really interesting how, like, you know, you, you could go back to a certain point in the book and like Francis would say, like, for example, Bobby said this, and then in the script, it would be a little bit different. And that would teach mm -hmm. me about, oh, that's how Francis interpreted that, you know? Yeah. Or like, it actually taught me so much, those little shifts and changes of, of about her as a person and how she kind of reads things. And um, so I found that really interesting, I think. And I think I think the same it is when it's through someone's perspective you're just excited to like see the actual her yeah. vision like what is in front of her and mm -hmm. then for me I think it's funny because it's I reading the book I know how you view me and how Francis sees this moment but to then be looking at Allie while she's like taking in the room and and processing everything it's kind of wild to then just be like this is how you're looking at me, but you're thinking these other thoughts, you know, like the whole yeah. thing of like, you're clearly thinking things, but you're not mm. saying them and having yeah. that your person all day is it's, I think it was really cool to be able to actually just live out these scenes. Mm. Totally. And like a really sort of clever way of adapting something to in, in relying on so much um, like the audience filling in the gaps rather than feeling the need to like dialogify everyone's inner thoughts which is it's so it's such a clever way of doing it because we're so sort of inherently empathetic as humans we're able to fill in a lot of the gaps without needing to always be explained them and I found like that really clever you know in, in this series too like that there is such beautiful moments of silence where you see like that moment where Bobby and Francis are, are sort of lying on the sofa and they just look at each other and there's no need to sort of say anything but like it says so much just letting that sit for a moment mm -hmm. it's so it's so beautiful and why Lenny I feel like is so um just brilliant at adapting these stories because his filmmaking lends itself to, you know so well to that yeah and you love don't Lenny. Like... <laughs> love Lenny <laughs> oh Lenny's love the best. Lenny. <laughs> his little smiles oh. I his little smile I still found myself I was telling Ali this when we were doing one of the panels um, and he was on a screen in front of us and next to us. Um, and I, they asked me a question. So I was like talking and out of the corner of my eye, I could see him being like, and I was like, okay. It <laughs> felt like, like, you know, I was like, he likes what I'm saying. Okay, good. <laughs> he likes how I interpret it. Okay, good. Like it just made me feel once again, like I was filming and I was like, cause he smiles always outside of the camera when, I always watch him when he's watching Ali and when he was watching Joe and stuff. And so you can, we'd always tell each other like, oh, he really likes that one. He yeah. Just, yeah. You know? yeah. So yeah, yeah. we just always, you, please. we always, me and Sasha used to watch Lenny watch the, like other people. And we would get so excited about it because he'd almost be acting with them. Like, yes, he was I love it. and it's the most beautiful thing. And like, sometimes he, a lot of the time he actually wouldn't even watch the monitor. Like he would be, mm -hmm 
totally just with you and like it was just incredible to just watch that and and how he kind of approaches storytelling or what he's looking for and it's all performance like it's all kind of like character and what's happening yeah. between people and that's what makes his work so interesting and so real I think is is that quality that he has totally and like gives you the space as well like I you know n- normal people was like one of my, what was my first time playing a lead and I was absolutely terrified and yeah. like <laughs> what he really allowed us to you know feel this completely safe in his hands and know that like you know he was just such a generous director and like you said would react with such joy to things that you've always felt like you were doing a good job which meant that the performances yeah. were you know benefited entirely from that because you weren't acting out of fear or, or needing to sort of prove something you, you, mm-hmm. you felt like he was like no I chose you for a reason you're, yeah. you're right for this and I'll just enjoy it exactly, yeah. exactly. yeah he's so magical as all let water a plant real quick I can look at it <laughs> <laughs> you're so awesome <laughs> you a question because like obviously it's like two two years on since since normal people has come mm-hmm. out is it two years yeah or yeah you, i think so yeah. about three since we started filming which is crazy like how i mean obviously that that experience was was you know has changed your life in terms of like career wise or or whatever but in terms of just like how has has playing Marianne or I guess like immersing yourself in Sally's world or that story kind of had it I guess had an impact on you or or going forward sorry there's a dog I'm gonna just shut this window <laughs> sorry um yeah what's, what's that been like for you of just being part of that world I guess yeah I think that like because I think you're so right. I think in terms of, of how it changed my life, it really was the experience of making it. And yeah. I think, I think, I mean, it, it, it gifted me like my best friends in the whole world, which was such a magical thing. And I think, you know, I think there's nothing more special than when you're in sort of a, I, I'd never acted with people my own age, really. And like how incredibly talented everyone was and just, just really in sort of enjoying each other and enjoying sort of our, all of us experiencing this sort of wild, scary ride together. Um, but I think, yeah, I think there's something about like, you know, I, I, something about the way Sally writes about the way young people feel. It, it yeah. suddenly made me feel like I, you know, I had a right to feel the things I did in the yeah. sense that she sort of gives, she, she really sort of um, allows, allows sort of young people like falling in love to, to have the gravity and the weight that it actually does when yeah. you do, you know? Yeah. And I think um, I think that was a really magical thing. Of it felt like I really matured, um, and like I I grew up sort of. It was like my a coming age of a coming of age experience for me as well as like for the character. Um, so yeah, I would say that in in that way. What about you guys? I mean, I I, I feel really idea. similarly in that sense. <laughs> um, I I feel really similarly in that sense. I think of like that. I know when I read it first I was just like incredibly moved by it and and how she kind of you know like the way that I guess you're you're tracking someone's whole kind of internal life that you do have day to day when you meet people or just going around the shops or like whatever it is you are constantly kind of in conversation with yourself in a sense mm-hmm. and and the kind of lows that you can go to and the highs that you can go to and as you say giving that all the weight that it feels um and and I think I just felt really like I guess understood by it and also I think acting wise like getting the opportunity to step inside those things that actually are very universal and that we all feel but when you're kind of playing it out it does feel massive and it feels so kind of relatable I just felt like such a gift to to step into something that I al- already felt like I really understood if that makes sense and yeah and, and like really similar as well like like getting to meet Sasha and like and and Joe and Jemima like I really they're the most incredible people and and I I feel like will always be 
best pals and 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 I just you know you you meet these people kind of on these experiences and they do change your life or change change you in some way and and I just think that's so special that the job also offers that um and so yeah I, I it just feels really special to be a part of um this like world I think of like her stories and yeah think, yeah yeah, totally. And actually, that was one thing I wanted to talk about was was the um, the one of the uh, sort of storylines in this um, series that I found so moving and had never seen on screen was the was the endometriosis journey. Um, and I just thought the way that you perform that was just oh, oh my gosh. And I think so many people watching it will feel like really seen, <laughs> you know, because we we don't often get to sort of represent that on screen. Yeah. And, uh, and also, I thought I thought the way that um, the handling of the sort of female friendship too between Bobby and Francis and, and just like how moved I was when, you know, she stayed the night and just like, it was just really beautifully done. Um, so how, how was that stuff to film? And, and also I think it, it would just be interesting to talk about generally why it's so important to see female uh, relationships like the one in this um, sort of represented on the screen. Um, but yeah, how was that to film? Um, well, I think at, well, at least on the, one for the endometriosis I think so I saw something pop up on my Instagram about it the other day and I was like this is the beauty of this because if you start to watch norm uh, if you start to watch conversations with friends and you know how the weird algorithm works those things start popping up and I think it's yeah. just I know so many people who are so appreciative and to learn more about that obviously uh, they were not part of my scenes but I've known people who had it and I, I think I think Ali and Lenny and Emma and all of them did very beautifully well representing that and in terms of friendships i think the beauty of of bobby and francis is there is this rom romantic history but it's not it's not what this their relationship is about it is they're absolutely each other's like soulmates and two peas in a pod and they just want to be with each other and it helps you can do your like girly problems and you know, to have that one, even when I was taking your jeans off and it's just like, I don't care. We have the same thing. Yeah. You know, I think it's yeah. just something yeah. so special about those relationships. And when you don't have sisters or if someone doesn't have like a mother figure, there is something that lags in that because to have another woman that you can have confidence in and trust in and, and simply just kind of the same wirings of things, it's... I think everyone needs those types of friendships. And I think it's really nice to be able to have it on screen because there's going to be a lot of people looking at their best friend, like. <laughs> yeah. <Exactly. laughs> you know, mm. there's Maybe so I'll much kind of like un unsaid or such a, such an unspoken thing in those kind of dynamics. And there's just this like innate deep understanding. And I think Sally, just writes that so well and obviously understands that so well. I think, I guess a lot of women maybe watching that have a, like I was speaking to Emma last night and and she was like, oh, this is my Bobby and Francis relationship where everyone kind of has a Bobby and yeah. Francis relationship where someone is one or the other, or some people shift. Like I felt like I was more of a Bobby when I was in school and then went, like became a fr mm. Francis in college. It's really interesting. Like. Uh, and I think it's just a really recognisable dynamic that, you know, I definitely really related to when, when I read the book and and um, and something that we just put such big importance on, I think, when we were rehearsing or talking about just doing the show in the first place, was really putting importance on, on that relationship and, and, and the kind of, like, gravity that, like, like the importance for Francis and... and and that kind of through line of the whole time is, you know, that she does still love her. And, yeah. but it kind of, that, that kind of ambiguous like thing with, with friendship sometimes where you're, you're kind of flipping in between. Mm -hmm. um, but I, first of all, thanks so much Daisy for saying that about like all, all the endometriosis stuff, because it felt like such, yeah, it felt like such a big responsibility to portray that because it's something that so many women suffer with and it's incredibly under discussed and and I think through researching it and through speaking to people like I realize that there's, there's so many people that don't even realize they have it and, and a lot of the time like there's such a long um like diagnostic delay and um, because you know it, it's kind of seen as bad periods for quite a while and I think like 
what me, Lenny and Leanne definitely didn't want to shy away from was just like, yes, the physical pain of it and how it's kind of with you all the time, but, but also how it really would affect, you know, you emotionally and, and your kind of perception of yourself and, and, and how, how strong you might think you are when you don't realise you have it. And, um, and so even when she's not on her period, I guess, keeping that feeling of that, it's always with her um, and she always has to deal with it. And I really like how it's a, it's a story that's like, it's not a story about a girl with endometriosis. It's a story about this person and all these different relationships and coming of age. But this character also has endometriosis. And it's like how anyone else in life, they, they're dealing with their whole life and they have to deal with this at the same time. Mm-hmm. And, and I just, I really liked how that was kind of written. And, and I'm really glad that it felt like it, it did it justice to you. So Yeah, it was so, it was so <laughs> beautiful. Just like, I mean... You know, even just the first shot I saw of you holding the hot water bottle, I was like, oh, I've not really seen that on screen. <laughs> but it's always like we all, you know, have to experience, yeah. you know, yeah. of month, exactly. month, so, you know, and and just have to kind of grit our teeth and and, and work through. And for for some, it's like it's 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 so awful and 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 difficult every month. And yeah, I just thought it was so beautifully and carefully done, and, and I loved it. And also, um, yeah, that that um, Bobby and Francis female friendship. I mean, that montage at the end, an episode. <laughs> Oh, we were ready for that. We were not. I wasn't. We didn't know they oh, I killed me. <laughs> oh, it was so <laughs> stunning. Oh my god, it was absolutely oh. just beautiful. Oh, oh they broke. They it broke was my so precious that I got mad because I didn't know it was going to be there, and I was just watching, and I was like, "Why are you going to do that?" Why are you going to do that? And the ending, and I'm like, "Why are you going to do that?" I really truly broke my heart it was just amazing um okay I've got some more questions um so oh one so as well as Lenny you also had um we we both worked with Susie the amazing DOP Susie Lavelle who is just a gem of gems um and I was I remember her um hearing that you shot on film um Mm -hmm. so not digital it was actual film yeah was that like because i'm just this is a nerdy question for me because i just like it's a big dream of mine to do something on film what was 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 that very similar to um working digitally or was there like it did it it, did it affect the day in any way as in was there like delays or was it like was it just that was there a difference in filming you know when you do like the um like digital i think you still kind of say like you know we gotta check it make sure it's fine or but i think it's after so many takes but with film it really is like the checking the gate is like a everyone oh holding their breath because yeah. God forbid there's a hair in the gate which doesn't really mean a hair but could mean a hair like <laughs> it's just it's so fragile but so beautiful and that's why you want to use it but there was just days where I mean Allie would be like wow you know we've we've had really good gates and I'm like stop it. <laughs> <laughs> It's just gonna be the one time it doesn't work, and if you don't <laughs> deliver, you're just like, that's all I had. <laughs> oh my god! Um, so it puts the pressure on for sure, but obviously for good reasons. And and oh man, we were always asking like, how much would we use? <laughs> expensive and yeah, there's definitely a pressure level to it, but it's really cool to work with and like yeah. here. And like the quality of it was so like perfect as well because like you know I I, I know it's funny because Sally often gets sort of um you know people say she's like the, the right the millennial writer but I feel like her her themes are so timeless and like you know so cross-generational and I felt like using film gave it such a nostalgic quality mm-hmm. that it felt like it was sort of it, it was clearly set now because of the emails and whatnot but it felt also like it could have been set anywhere because the themes were sort of universal in that way um so I just love the nostalgia of it yeah that's amazing I never thought about it like that but yeah it does give it that yeah. kind of grainy yeah yeah and I think there's something so cool about the fact that it it's physical like it exists and, yeah. and you know like and that it kind of feels like forever so I don't know there's just a real kind of yeah I loved that about it and and it was so interesting even to watch the whole process of it and and how they would kind how the camera work would will kind of be affected by that and um yeah 
I love I loved it. I mean, I'd never actually worked on digital, so it was really interesting for me to work the other way around because the last thing I just did was digital, and I was like, "This is so quick." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so true. Yeah. 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 Does film give you more a wee bit more time? Because I never cease to amaze me how quick a filming day is. Like every time, I always think it's gonna not be that way, and it never. It's always so quick. Yeah. <laughs> Does it give you a bit more time, maybe? Um, yeah. because yeah. yeah that's good that's good yeah that that's true actually it's almost like before we go to do a take like we'll really talk about it because we're like this is gonna be <laughs> a literal thing um yeah. but yeah it was cool it was really good and did you guys did you have like a favorite scene to shoot and also did you have a favorite line Ooh. i liked our bathroom scene yeah, I, I think to me, especially because it was what in the middle of filming, um, we had really established like a really nice relationship at that point and and even established a good groove with Leanne at that point, too. And it just like has always been one of my favorite scenes. So to do it, I think it was something that, you know, when you have big scenes, you're a bit like, oh, I want this one done. You know, it's a bit nerve wracking and all. Mm -hmm. There was just something so gentle and tender and but yet big about it that and we were just in the bathroom, you know, it just felt like such an intimate kind of moment and and working the rehearsals of it, like the day of it. It just I don't know. I just felt like that was one of my better, calmer just like completely in love with my work days yeah that was a really really special day and I just that just reminded me of because I love that scene so much and I think we got into such a kind of rhythm with each other that because mm -hmm. we even shot it over like two days maybe or something yeah I remember day two one of the 80s we like right Alison get in the bath <laughs> <laughs> yeah a little yeah. reason for two days um but uh but I, do you remember that scene that we did, Sash, that was like um, at the end of episode six and they're walking on the boardwalk when they're back in Dublin. I was going to say that one too. That it was, was awesome. Yes. It was so <laughs> mad because I remember we were really nervous before that and we were kind of, we were like, oh, I feel like they're covering so much ground here and I don't know how, you know, and we were both kind of talking about it loads and felt really nervous. And then it ended up actually just being like one, I think it's like one long shot. And yeah. we just were like, we were like, will we just chat? Like, will we just have a chat? Yeah, and talk. Not worry about acting and just walk and talk and chat and you have a cigarette and we'll have a look, you know, at yeah. the river or whatever. And it was one of those moments where we kind of both finished and we just felt really like, oh, I just felt like I was really chatting to you there. And I felt yeah. really special. It felt and, the most natural you know, thing is to walk, yeah. around, you know, and just to literally, there's people screaming around us, doing yeah. their own lives. <laughs> yeah. and it's just, normal as if he would be walking on the street and, yeah. and at the end of it I forgot I forgot his name ah but he wrote um for our marks oh and did um, yeah to little, land yeah. he put hearts and I remember just like walking and then I was like ah, and I had to play it cool because I, <laughs> so I was like we have hearts <laughs> Yeah. It was cute. It was a did great you, one. Did you have a favorite scene um, that you shot in Normal People, Daisy? Gosh, yeah. I, th there was, there was so th like I, I know that feeling too of when you have that one scene that you're like, oh my gosh, this is sort of the scene, and you're like that you're like, I just want to get it done. And I feel like yeah. for yeah. me, I don't know if you felt this way, but it was in Normal People. It was, it was my favorite scene in the book, which was when. Um, when Connell comes uh, down and he's covered in blood um, oh he's God, in and he tells her that he's seeing someone else. But I remember in the book that like, I love, I just loved that, like that part of the book so much. So I remember coming to the scene feeling that thing of like, Oh God, like, I really, this means so much to me. I want to get this right. So that was one of my faves because it was, again, we shot that over two days and I think something went wrong. So we had to reshoot a bit the next day when we weren't scheduled to, and it was like, <sighs> But um, but it was yeah, it was just a magic one when when you know we were really both in it and and stuff. But I I think I mostly enjoyed the early Marion and Connell because they were a lot happier. Weirdly, even though like their relationship was sort of um secretive, uh, they were sort of really enjoying each other. And then they yeah, yeah bad <laughs> middle way through <laughs> pretty much till the end. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but did you I have love... a favorite line? A favorite line. Cool. Mine is just coffee fuck. I'll always say that. Oh, that's just, a great I, one. I, I can't. Fuck. 
And such a sweet way. Yeah. It's not even like coffee, but it's just like okay. <laughs> Bobby has such good lines. Like I'm so saying such good one liners. <laughs> such good one liners. I oh, love wow. that line. I don't know what my favourite line is. I but I talked about this quite a bit just because I think it's really beautiful and the way she did it was so beautiful. But um Justine Mitchell, who plays my mum, who plays Paula, and the the last one of the last scenes we have together is she says something in the bar. Um they're talking about her dad, but she says, um he, uh there's no use thinking like that. All you can do is make decisions and hope. And it's just yeah, that's it's really, great. really beautiful because it actually rings true of the whole show in a sense. Yeah. And, and it's the first time she kind of lets her mom in in a way. And just the way that she, I think she might have put that line in or, or there was something that I think it was only figured out on the day or something like that. But she, yeah, just the way she said it. And every time I hear it, I'm like, <gasps> So, yeah, I think that one maybe. <laughs> that's a beautiful line. Yeah. Actually, that's the question I had because I always, I always find that really interesting. But what was the first scene you shot and what was the last? I think it was, was it us together or did you have yeah. some first? Yeah. yeah. I think I had a scene where I ran up the stairs. <laughs> it was my first scene. And funnily enough, I think I did it about 10 times. Yeah. <laughs> you know, the really simple things. Yeah. Like walking yeah. down the road are, like, are impossible. Um, so I, I think we did that. And then we had the scene of the two of us on the couch where I'm like asleep on your shoulder. And yeah. um, all of that stuff. And then that was the, first. the last scene, oh God, do you remember the last scene me and you did together? We uh. were in bed. <laughs> We, it was in Croatia, you know, when uh, Francis storms off and Bobby comes up and is like, are you okay? A after Valerie, um, or she, after she kind of has a bit of a row with Valerie and Melissa and Bobby like holds her hand and they're kind of looking out. And I remember we came up to rehearse the scene and the two of us were like sobbing. And Lenny was like, okay, guys. I was getting on. so angry. I'm one of those like angry, like if I get emotional, I'm like, stop it. And then I'm like, stop it. <laughs> and then we were supposed to have like another take or another scene yeah, or something. So we didn't know it was our last. And it just, as soon as they said that, I, I yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah the, the last, the last take was the shot of our hands holding. I think that was yeah. it. And they were like, "That's mm -hmm. Ross and Sasha." And we uh. just, no, okay. Oh, <laughs> it's, that, is, <laughs> <laughs> that is always. Oh my god, the absolute worst. Also, um, I feel like that's a that that's something because they did the same to to Paul and I. We didn't know we'd filmed the lot. It was our last scene, and so I was like, and everyone was crying, and I was like, "What?" And then yeah. Like, oh my realized god. That. <laughs> Like, that's what that? it was everyone started crying mm. and we were yeah we were like what's going on why yeah. they were all bawling and they were like oh, that, mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> what, what, what was your first scene that you shot daisy it was um it was actually because we shot all of marianne's house uh for the first two weeks and so the first scene was actually when connell comes in and marianne's like eating yogurt and she oh, says yeah. maybe you should give me grinds connell or something like yeah. that yeah and then, um, and then our last one was cycling uh, in Italy because we all, we both of us ended on the holiday. That was very nice of us. Yeah, yeah. It was a holiday at the end. Was yeah, <laughs> it was a very nice way to do it. Oh, sweet! Because that's the first that that's the first bit of the book, isn't it? Is when she walks into her house and she's like, that's how the book starts. It that's is, it. and for some reason they chose. It was actually chocolate spread, but they chose to change it to yogurt. And I don't know why, but maybe it's because they, they've probably seen so many self tapes of people like covered in chocolate spread. Yeah. I can't yeah. do this anymore. <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny. I love that scene. It's so great. It's so good. Now that we're we're talking about like me and me and Sasha talked about this quite a bit, but I just now that we're talking to you wanna give light for how incredible and moving and raw and brave your performance as Marianne was it really yes. was exceptional and two years on it still never fails to amaze me and yeah I just had to say that because that's so lovely thank you it's so yeah. special and it's so nice to all be kind of connected in this way now across the shows and I guess the experience has been maybe quite similar for a lot of us and mm -hmm. um yeah, I just I didn't get that. Could you try again? Let me see. Oh my god, you're gonna be all sentimental. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. 
gosh, amazing. <laughs> I do not trust He's you. He's telling me to shut up. That's I really love like, love it. He said, how does your Siri, is your Siri Irish? Yes. <laughs> that's so great to know you that's so cool it's like, <laughs> sorry I, I didn't bet that <laughs> um, but yes um, <laughs> um, that's so kind. is it your birthday about to be your birthday it is tomorrow yeah tomorrow. oh happy early thank you, thank I keep seeing you pop up and someone thank from Indonesia is like it's already your 24th girl oh my gosh no I'm not ready to enter my mid-20s thank you happy happy early birthday are you doing yes. anything first yeah I went out on on Friday went dancing which was really fun um it's so nice to be able to do that now like mm -hmm. just to go out like like properly living up and then um and then I'm going for dinner with my family so it'd be sweet nice. yeah love it <laughs> thanks guys well i i have a couple more questions i know we're sort of nearly nearly out of time but um i guess i want to ask just um one or two about like what do you think it is about like sally rooney because we're right we, we've all kind of connected over this and like it's i feel like it's such a sort of amazing thing to have been able to sort of live in this sally rooney world and, and these characters for for such a long time what do you think it is about her writing that's so special and 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 the characters and um and yeah, what, 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 what is it that you love about her, her work, basically? I was like, oh, Sally. <laughs> <You're like, laughs> That's a hard <laughs> question. <laughs> I will, I, oh. No, we please, both are so, we're so the same. I know. Um, <laughs> I will say that, and in, in, I guess this speaks to her work and, and her ability to capture so many different kind of internal feelings and thoughts and emotions happening all at once. But um, I will say, because you had asked earlier, you know, what has it done? Or Ali had asked you, what has it done for your life since filming that and your performances? It really, doing this piece of work it really made me remember why I enjoy acting and why I still do it, why I feel the need to to want to take these characters and, and make you at least understand them or see a different perspective of it. Because I just think there's just so many layers to people. People amaze me. And so the way she describes people and these thoughts and these kind of private things that you don't really get to read about because it's more plot driven or more on the details of the situation. And she just is very detailed about the human and their experience. And I think being able to then perform that and try to do it justice on screen, you know, give you a different version of her words, just really kind of ignited something in me. And I would, it, it almost like, you know, would make me upset if I, because I had my daughter with me, if I didn't have time to really focus in on each and every word, it was kind of like, no, I really need to do this because it's so important. And this is how I felt when I read it. And so I want that amplified times 10, you know? Mm. So I think, you know, if that were to say anything about her writing and, and why it brings even people like us together, because we were all so you know happy with our experiences and the people we met along the way i think it's it's because purely of how she story tells yeah yeah that's so well said yeah i i feel the ex that's so well said all right i'm done yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah i i just uh, yeah i feel the same and i think like she um I think as much as her characters you know there there's such a depth to all of them and they all struggle in their own way in the sense that every person in the world struggles growing up or, or whatever it is like I always find particularly with her female characters they're so kind of like I don't know just unapologetically themselves like they and I love that I love like Marianne and I love Bobby and I and I love Francis and how they kind of just have this way of being and kind of they're so intelligent and they're so kind of um you know in opposition to themselves a lot of the time like they're, they're so complex and I think you know it, it, it's that thing of like I think she's a really brave writer in the sense that she's not trying to go like here are these wonderful people and and you should like really like them or you, you know she she's she, 
she writes challenging characters because people are challenging and and actually you know i i certainly find it more interesting to read characters that you know are, are constantly shifting and changing and and particularly for francis i loved playing a character who um doesn't know who she is i think that's such an interesting thing because it really highlights you know when you're in that place in your life or or most people like you, you do kind of have all these different kind of versions of yourself that you play out with the different people in your life and I think she she tracks that so well and so truthfully that I guess when you read it you just feel like a bit seen and you just feel a bit yeah. like yeah I, I really feel that way no matter how kind of unflattering or awkward or weird it is you, you just feel really heard and seen and, um, and and I just love that and I think that's what maybe a lot of people kind of gravitate towards her for. Because you can also be very you can be lost as a person but self-assured at the same time. Yeah exactly. You know even with Francis she still is like this is I don't choose to put my writing out there. You know, you can yeah. still be yeah. like, I am who I am, despite not really knowing who that is. And yes. you rarely yeah. see that. You yeah. Know, you rarely get to see that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I hundred percent. It's like that. it's like she doesn't feel the need to like in the way that humans are make all of her characters like people don't make sense all the time. And and yeah. we are really changeable and she's and that's such a kind of like an unusual thing to do to just go like I don't have to make everything make sense or a person yeah. makes sense. it's actually we we don't <laughs> and, yeah. and we change it so it, yeah so it's it's so great yeah That's totally amazing. and I also think like which is so funny for that all of us um, one of the big things we've taken from you know being in an adaptation of her work is is meet people that have like fundamentally changed our lives or or, or, or made mm -hmm. such an impact and I think that's something as well that she celebrates so much is like the impact of people on on our lives like the impact of friendship and connection and love and first love and how really that's what being a human is about i guess is like is is meeting those people and making those connections yeah. and forming yeah. those relationships and how it's beautiful and like profound they are you know mm -hmm. totally totally the, yeah the impact a person can have on you is kind of her big yeah. thing isn't it and how reliant we all are on each other to grow and change and and then you end up the people you're doing that with are the ones that, that enable you to grow and you know yeah. Yeah. You with them. it's amazing it's kind of a bit meta <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, yeah. Oh. Well, guys, it's been so nice to chat. I think it's probably all we have time for. But um, but oh, I'm just such a huge fan of both of yours, and just like it was such a pleasure to be asked. So thank you, and um, thank you. This like, is amazing. This is so nice. <laughs> I like, hope to God I save this. <laughs> I wish me luck. They say it. I have yeah. no idea. There's one for hoping. <laughs> well, happy birthday, Daisy. Early happy birthday. birthday. And thank you so much. This was so great, guys. Yeah, thank thanks you. so much, both of you. This was so lovely. Let's Bye. 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 I don't know how to exit. No. <laughs>